I'm here with Connor Hannafin, Clarinet football head coach after a 33-0 win over I-35. Coach, it was a dominant win. How were you able to get it done today? Uh, right away, we had to be physical. Defensively, you know, they're going to run the ball at you and do some different things. Uh, so up front, defensively, the scheme-wise, we had a great scheme in. Defense did a great job. Uh, we were physical all night on that. And then offensively, we transitioned that into the running game. I mean, it looked like clearing the football out here, running the football, going down people's throat. Uh, you know, it's it's nice. We got some guys back and healthy this week. And, uh, you know, but I got to give a shout out to Noah Harris. You know, our starting quarterback wasn't here tonight, was sick. And, you know, we're just helping, hoping he, he recovers and we get him back next week. Yeah, you talk about some guys coming back. Dominic Palsley was able to come back and have a massive game. Three touchdowns for you tonight. Uh, what did you kind of see from him? Uh, he looked like Dominic. You know, it was nice to see. He hasn't really gotten to get on a, on a rhythm here this year and uh, just with injuries and dealing with some other stuff. But tonight was glimpses of what the great what he can do, and, and it was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, he had a freshman quarterback in today, Cooper Baumgart, able to start it and, and get some big passes for you in there as well. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you saw from him tonight. Yeah, uh, Cooper, you know, he's not – you always think freshman quarterback, you get a little nervous. But, you know, that, that kid plays older than he is. He's confident. We've been working since June. Him and Noah are great together, learning from each other. And everybody in this program, everybody in the stands was confident that he could do it. A lot of freshmen in uh, in and out of the lineup tonight. Uh, you got to feel confident about what, what's to come in the future. Yeah, you know, there's always good that comes out of bad. So last week, man, me and we had a lot of guys out, but a lot of those freshmen had to come play. So you get in a game like this and you know they can play, you find pieces, and they stepped up. And as long as we can keep developing youth, keep developing depth, we're going to be a pretty good team. Uh, it's homecoming week. There's a lot of different distractions out there. How are you able to kind of keep you guys in check and, and get this dominant win? Yeah, first, you know, our job as a team in homecoming, any football team, is to win. I mean, that, that's your job. All the other stuff is fun. Enjoy it. You're in high school. But our job is to win, and that was the message all week. Practice hard. Do the right things. Uh, even with a, kind of a chaotic school today, it was a little different. We did some things as a team to try to keep it in rhythm, and they did a great job. Uh, defensively, you guys were able to get some big pressure on on the quarterback, and, and Caleb Shane especially had, had a really big night, a big sack there in the red zone. Uh, what, what, what did you kind of see for your guys defensively? Uh, you know, when we attack, when we just go and we're attack, we read our keys and we're confident. We're, I mean, we, we want to be attack. You know, Coach Williams is going to is going to send guys, going to make you make plays, and uh, the, our guys tonight really stepped up, made some big plays at key moments. Uh, Clark's next week. Uh, what are you kind of looking to for that game? Uh, you know, I don't get a look ahead too much. Uh, you know, we're going to celebrate tonight. Uh, I'm gonna, these guys are going to go to the dance tomorrow, have fun, be, hope, be smart, okay? And then come back next week, we'll take a look at Clark and get ready to go. All right, thank you so much, Coach. Thanks, Tate.